We've lost fathers, uncles, cousins. We've lost a mother. There's a crisis in the Tornillo School District just east of El Paso, Texas. It's weird to me. It's like Iraq. It's like a combat zone. Paul Vranish is the district superintendent. A 17-year-old boy was killed literally about um, three miles from where you're sitting. That boy was Juan Mendoza, a student who investigators believe was recruited by drug cartels to work as a runner, a problem police are seeing more and more. Children in schools everywhere are being uh, recruited to do this kind of work for the, the criminal element in Mexico. It's a dangerous game. If they lose money or if they lose a drug load or if they lose the profit for the drug cartels, they don't care how old the child is. If he's 12, 13, 14, uh, he's going to lose his life. The problem is so widespread, the Border Patrol recently produced this movie called Operation Detour. And that life will either be spent in prison or will be spent in the grave. They are not going to get out of this alive, and there is no quitting. Once you're in, you're in, no matter what. The graphic film is shown in border high schools as a scared straight tactic, but you don't have to be working for the cartels to be in danger. I try to be stoic, but it still worries the heck out of me. Israel Morales is a junior in Fort Hancock, Texas. He says many of his classmates have lost family members. It's kind of freaky, because I have friends that, that uh, their fathers have been annihilated and, and they come back and they just they just hug you and start crying. So, I mean, it kind of traumatizes you a little bit. You're like, okay. The sheriff's office has begun following some school buses to and from campus, and a school resource officer has been assigned to the district. But it's not enough to ease the concerns of all parents. You think about it, you're worried about your kids. I'm glad he's a junior, and he's got one more year to go. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Fort Hancock, Texas.